As I was going over the Cork and Kerry mountains, I met with Captain Farrell and his money. He was kind. I first produced my pistol and then produced my rapier. Stand and deliver, for you are a bold deceiver. I said, Ooh, ram and do ram and da. Wait for the daddy o. Wait for the daddy o. There's whiskey in the jar. Now it's only thing to get the boat safely on the water. Tomorrow and Sunday we're gonna be on the dock side. We're gonna stow, and then we are ready to rock. So once we're in the water, we gotta jump around and check for leaks. God willing, we'll be in good shape and no water's coming in. Yeah, she's old fashioned. Go ahead, say what you want. Who knows what our top speed is? That's not what it's all about. This is our ship, and this is built like any good ship. The full keel. They've been laying keels since the beginning of time. They're always going the whole way front to back. And that's what ours is. The Phoenicians, the Greeks, yeah, the Vikings. Maybe we're like the Vikings. We're gonna go, we're gonna find new lands. We're gonna sail up rivers. And if the waters are uncharted, or if the charts are bad, or if the GPS doesn't work anymore, who knows, anything can happen. And anything is what we gotta be ready for. That's the whole point of this mission, to go and find beautiful new life out there on the sea with nothing to hold us back except our own smarts, hard work, and vision. And a full keel boat is the way to do it. Yeah, a couple knots of speed faster, who wouldn't want that? But not at the expense of stability or comfort. A boat like this with a full keel, she's gonna be more comfortable in foul weather, in a seaway. And when it comes time to heave to, or lie a hull, or ultimately run off under bare poles, this boat is made for it. Hey, you missed a spot. Yeah. Oh, you missed it again. <laughs> Nelson. Yeah. That's why we can't have nice things. Now the paint is drying and then in the water. Uh, no, uh, it's, 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 dry it's not coming off. Yeah. yeah. No. A lot easier to sail too because these full keel boats track on a straight line and it's a good thing because when you're short-handed you got two or three people on board man you want things to go well this boat might have a design that comes from the past but it's going to carry us into an uncertain future and we're going to go there in style until the 60s and 70s no one even thought of doing anything else and no one would take a boat across an ocean unless it had a real keel we carry the most precious cargo you could possibly imagine. Helen, and a lot of food. Those are the two <laughs> things you gotta have on board. A boat built heavy, ready for anything. Good thing we went high. Good, good water line, huh? All right, okay, Chris, I'm gonna jump on and make sure she's not sinking, okay? What? How much power each one of these boards? Each one of those is 120, these are 550. Well, it's holding. I guess uh, I guess we're going to be solid, you know? We didn't run the engine yet, but um, tomorrow we will. Mm -hmm. What about that crackling noise? What do you think it is? It can't be our boat, right? I mean, there's no way. No water's coming in. But we had that crackling sound again. This boat is our home. And this boat is our life raft. This is the boat that's going to take us from here and into the future. And we are going to challenge all the conventions, all the weakness, and all the naysayers. And we're gonna go with tradition, we're gonna do it the old fashioned way, and we're never turning back. Because this is our mission, this is our home, and this is our ship. And I'm so glad we found her. Boy, one in a million she is, no doubt. A true pearl of the seven seas now. A great new bottom job, new electronics going in, and a crew reinvigorated to get ready for the big trip. We are done. Once you guys had us on the heart, we knew we'd better freaking work on nothing but boat, boat problems. And we did it. 
Now we're sitting pretty, kids. Time for getting it together and sailing on back up the river. <laughs> After a long day of hard work. A lot of people have been asking, and I know some of you wonder, what is this forward-facing sonar? Well, that's the transducer. That's the part that sticks out of the boat. And it's a lot more than nothing, because usually they're flat on top. But this one has to see forward, so this is your flat on top part, but facing towards the front of the boat. Oh, that's why it's called forward-facing sonar? Yeah. It faces it forward. It faces forward. <laughs> and down a little bit. That's that eight times thing, so you have that angle going down. So eight times the depth of the water in front of you, you have uh, a vision of it and a warning, hopefully, to not run aground. It's made by B&G, which is Navico. And uh, right now we have it out. We have a plug-in because we didn't want to take any chance of uh, getting damaged during launch with a sling or something, even though it shouldn't be able to, but you know what I'm saying. This thing cost a few bucks. So I'll try to uh, find a link to it and put it below in the description so you can click right forward to it. And uh, highly recommend it. Can't wait to try it out. But we have to do our whole uh, NEMA backbone and power supply and all that stuff. Uh, so we're not gonna even use it until we get to the next step. And that's uh, gonna be very exciting. I feel lucky. I'm gonna mix my brands, Garmin and B&G, and I'm gonna see what happens. They're all going on the same NEMA network. And if I can get that radar to show up on my B&G, who's the lucky one now, punk? See what I'm saying? And if this little cutie will show up on the Garmin, well, I don't know what to tell you. Count your blessings, because it's coming your way. Wow. It is rock solid, it's dry, and we don't have to worry about sinking anymore. Oh my God, what a relief. But now, I say, I'm not leaving the boat tonight, first of all. We're staying on the boat. And we're gonna babysit, and we're gonna know the boat's fine every night. But let's party. Let's get some pizza or something delicious. And have fun. It's been a heck of a week. But you know what? I suddenly feel a little bit energized. <laughs> pizza it is. It's not the large, it's not the pizza. Mmm. Woo! Mmm, mmm, mmm. That is a good pizza. <laughs> wow, what a day. Tarpon Springs. We had a great day today. We have two cups of coffees. We had a fantastic evening yesterday. Oh, we talked to a captain, uh, one of these charter captains here, and they gave us some good scuttlebutt on anchorages uh, for our explorations. Mm -hmm. It's really pretty. It's like kind of like uh, a creek down. And I love creek food. I uh, visited Chris, uh, Athens, and Thessaloniki. And it is a beautiful, beautiful culture. We um, we bought a little sculpture uh, because it's a marble sculpture of the three beauties, right? Now we want to eat some delicious food. All right, so let's <laughs> jump in our rental car and get going. <laughs> That's not our car, Dad. <laughs> Come on, get it. That's not our car, Dad. Oh. <laughs> a little front came through yesterday. And, uh, the air is so fresh now. Okay. Oh, some people are already there. There's a wine tasting. I, I get a little bit sick when I think about wine.
I want to give you guys a little gift for your trip, okay? These are all organic soaps, wow. they're all natural, and they're made by a local artist. So pick some different scents and see which ones you like best. That's deep ocean, and you oh. can wash right in the water and wow. rinse off. I like this one. Thank okay. you. You're welcome, and good luck to you. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> We are in this beautiful creek, little tiny store, and I'm gonna take a present for our friend David. Hopefully, he's gonna get his present, unless I drink it before. Friends, we are walking down the sponge stacks. This is the must-do if you are visiting Tarpon Springs. In 1905, Greek spongers came together in Tarpon to develop the world's largest sponge diving. The sponge industry helped build a Greek community that is now famous not only for the world's finest sponges, but for some of the finest Greek restaurants. We are in here uh, in the beautiful seaside restaurant. And you can see our beautiful, beautiful boat there in the background. We have a couple of your gyros. How do you say it? Gyro or no? Gyro. 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 Okay, we're getting the heroes. Then we'll right. have the first one on the list, beef and lamb. And a big creek salad. Mm. I'm hungry. Wow, look at this. Now look at me. Mmm. <laughs> wow, so good. Ted, you like it? Mm. I like the view even more. Oh, there's Liberty. We have a lamb and beef tiro. All the loggers recommended this place, so we had to try. It's amazing. I gotta love Tarpon Springs. It's like a little piece of grease right here in the uh, Gulf of Mexico. Give me that. It's very similar to this uh, traditional Greek working boat. Wow. You gotta love the traditional lines of the Malta. What a great boat. Traditional in every way, except inside. When you get into electronics and the juice, it's flowing. And uh, let's head on back to Liberty and check our solar panels and everything and put the tools away. We still have tools everywhere uh, from yesterday. Thank God it's dry weather here. It feels so nice. Yeah, now the uh, fun bar starts to clean up all the freaking mess. I just got to the store. We have only three gallons of water left while uh, Dad is scrubbing and cleaning everything on the boat. I'm getting a couple of gallons distilled water since we are going in between two fronts, we never know. You're never gonna have too much water. Thank you. I'm all done with my shopping. Now the question is how I can carry everything back and if my bike is still there. I don't know. I think I need a taxi. <laughs> I might have uh, overestimated my uh, strength. Okay, I made safely back. All the eggs are still okay. okay. <laughs> Pretty good uh, to start our voyage. And tonight it's gonna be our last night in Airbnb. Well, Helen decided to pick us up a special treat when she was at the store today getting water. Mm -mm -mm. Nice. It's been really fun hanging out in Tarpon. Mm -hmm. Checking out all the cool stuff. But what would be better? 
Spend any a day with a little party on the boat. So this is from France, Cotteron. Ooh. Ooh. Tonight is our last night in Tarpon. We're gonna have a beautiful journey back. Thank you Dave for cleaning up the boat so nice. It looks pretty... Oh yeah, you want also one. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers to me! To all of us! Rich, full-bodied, delicious. Mm. Notes of current. Really? And you can uh, taste the current? Yes, I can also feel the wave and the motion of the ocean. So. <laughs> the current I can easily taste. Cheers. Here's to you. Here's to this great week. Another great night together on the sea. Good morning. We're gonna have a quick breakfast and uh, today is our last day in the Airbnb. We're gonna go to church and then we're gonna go to West Marine. Somehow our water pumps are breaking. Pumps, pumps, pumps. Oh, here we go. It's a little more PSI, but that's probably okay. 164, 209. I say, what do you think? Can we go with the with the inexpensive store brand? Yeah, the cheaper the better. They look pretty similar, and the connections are definitely the same. Same factory, different sticker, huh? Oh yeah. <laughs> but then we're gonna stow our things a little better and start the motor and go and anchor somewhere along the channel. The funny thing happened. I remembered that we forgot to tighten our zinc on our prop shaft. We got so focused on rushing to get our castle mud on there as they were coming over to lift the boat uh, that we never got back to it. So the yard guy gave us, uh, Dave, he gave us a great tip. He said, you gotta hit the, f the zinc right where the size number is, tighten it some more, hit it on the other side, tighten it some more, and you kind of really pound it in there, really, really put some hurt on it. Uh, that way it won't get loose, it'll stretch, it'll actually stretch it a little bit. So when it would normally start getting loose, it won't. So I gotta take a little swim here. Fortunately, we have our gator gill hookah. And uh, I gotta grab a regulator and put on a weight belt. And I'm gonna jump in with my wrench and my hammer. Set me up, little kid. the same size maybe we are not hitting with the hammer this time I'm not hitting with the hammer again I'll tell you that well the bottom looks perfect um, let's see if we can get lucky with this second zinc let's try not to break it
Marcos. We christened her to Liberty. Liberty Libertas. Liberty! Did I keep the hole in the boat? Bon voyage, Pippin. Thanks for the help. Thank you. Bon voyage, Pippin. Thank you for everything. Mwah. Thanks for watching. If you like, comment. And please subscribe. We're a new channel. Every subscription counts. Thank you so much. Then we look forward to seeing you on the next show. Sailing Liberty. Charge you scallywags! Aye, Captain. Like any great adventure, it begins with a girl and a sword. Before you know it, the tail twists into a t-shirt. Hey, click in the link below in the description box and get one of our shirts. Bye now, and join the adventure.